YouTube fans, how are you doing today? Well, thank you for tuning in today's vlog. We got some, a little fun to do. We're gonna build a jigsaw puzzle. This is the Pirates of the Caribbean. This is 63 pieces. This is a very small one versus a couple of the own big ones I have built. Let's go ahead and just open it and see what we have. Now, should I glue it? Yeah, you could if you want. Make sure you get all the pieces out of it though. And put the box off the side. Now, this is a pretty easy puzzle. It's not complicated as like some of the bigger ones. I like doing puzzles, but remember, the issue is, is the bigger the puzzle, the more challenging it's going to be. That's why you should always try to start yourself off with a small puzzle, and work yourself up to a, a bigger puzzle. If that's your choice, you can do that as well. But I've done many puzzles before. In my past, I love the idea of the jigsaw puzzles. Why is it called the jigsaw puzzle? Well, that's what it's called. It's uh, using your imagination, and it's also you can have to think of which each piece goes. And this, uh, right, now this is the corner pal. This is the middle pal. separate everything before you can start building it. And you should have all of the pieces. Okay. Let's get in building a puzzle. Now Puzzle is going to be quite tricky. You just got to figure out which pieces go well. It takes a while to get used to it, but you can get the hang of it. Now this puzzle is not that big. You just gotta look for what you gotta find in each puzzle piece you have laid out on your desk. I'll find it eventually. It's in now. There's the bottom section of the puzzle. Right there. We so far have the bottom done, if you take a look at the box here, and yes, most of the cuddles are mostly orange and red, but you can also follow the box if you want, but I don't need to do that because I can just follow the way the puzzle lays out and the way each piece goes into. It only pretends on the pieces you're looking for necessary to build a puzzle. Now, the one thing you gotta know is when you're building a puzzle, you do the outside first before you work on the inside of the puzzle. 
because it's not as confusing and not frustrating for a lot of people. Now you can see it looks like it fits still. Actually, it doesn't. I call it "Does it fit?" And you just try a couple more on pieces and see what does fit. Now I'm not going to get this one custom framed. I can just go down and get a actual frame for it. Now the one thing you want to make sure you don't mix up pieces on the inside of the inners and the outers of each piece. Now I'm taking my time and I'm looking at different size pieces to make sure they actually go in the right size. Now if I want, I can also glue this puzzle to make it more of a permanent uh, puzzle itself, and that's what I'm going to do. Making it more of a permanent solution, and you know, so you can hang it on your wall. It's a lot of fun by doing puzzles. It really is mind challenging. You just gotta figure out what pieces go well. That's the clear though. Every piece has a story, all right? Every piece is different. Every piece has a different shape. Some pieces may not fit, some pieces may. It only pretends on what you want to do with the puzzle itself. You can see, it doesn't take that long. Now what type of glue do you use? Well, you can use a puzzle glue. You can use puzzle sable. And there is the outer done. And now, I'm going to work on the inner pieces. And just match everything up completely. This is a very simple puzzle. Anybody can do this one because it's a pretty small puzzle. It's not very really complicated, not very really frustrations. Now, if you're talking about a bigger puzzle, then you have more complications and more frustrations of building a larger puzzle. Okay? The bigger the puzzle, the more uh, confusing and very frustration you can actually get. Trust me, this is why I don't buy puzzles and I don't do puzzles a whole lot because it can be sometimes very aggravating and very frustrating as well. I love the idea of the puzzles and it's you know, putting your mind together, and you gotta figure out, okay, what pieces go well. Now, if you decide to do a big old piece puzzle, like, let's say, any size, it only depends on the type of puzzle you want to build. Now, I'm just slowly getting this puzzle almost completely done. Because it's not that complicated. You just gotta look for the pieces it seem to fit the best inside of the puzzle itself. Mm -hmm. right, that one doesn't seem to fit through this crate right. Just looking for each piece to see where it actually goes. That one seems a bit though perfectly fine. Alright. That one that fits style. Pretty dang cool. Nah, not quite. 
Ay, pedí. Ay, sample. the puzzle can be and a lot of people get very frustrated and very aggravated of doing jigsaw puzzles jigsaw puzzles can be more relaxing but to most people it can be aggravating and very frustrating doesn't fit, one thing don't do is force it because uh, you will actually bend the puzzle pieces themselves and it won't actually go in uh, the way you want it to go in. What do I mean aggravating? Aggravating means uh, puzzles can literally be not a whole lot of fun for a lot of um, people. And the ideal is to relax and calm yourself trying to do a simple puzzle like this. Now what do I mean forcing the pieces in? Is that you take a piece, you force it in, and you end up jamming the pieces together and you might bend them. Now, just take your time and be patient. That's all what you can do. It's not a rush kind of thing, okay? Because it's just more of a relaxing kind of thing, you know? You go to the side, you have the patience and the time to actually do puzzles because the more frustration you get, the more aggravated you can be. And by being aggravated, that's not always a good thing because then you end up destroying your puzzle itself. And all pieces are here. Alright, you can see that didn't take too long to actually put this little 63 piece puzzle together. i done it. Anybody can do it. Okay, you just gotta be patient and you gotta put your mind to it if you want to build puzzles. Alright, if you guys are doing new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a very nice comment down below. Please like, please share. Peace out. Bye, guys and girls. We'll hopefully see you in the next vlog. Thank you for tuning in, and thank you for watching me putting this beautiful uh, puzzle together. Have a very nice day.